Hello everybody, I am Glenda Umsa and I am going to answer the question what's the difference between form and function because this is really important to help you understand and improve your comprehension especially when you are reading. So, why is it important to identify the structure of a sentence? We want to understand words not only in isolation but also depending on context because depending on where you order them in sentence uh, you can change their meaning of course and form new meaningful groups that will eventually become legible complete sentences that give you complete ideas well let me show you a couple examples of what I mean many times we learn the word mean as a verb first like what do you mean but if you see it here, it is working as an adjective. If you just see the word in isolation, you might not know this. But when you see it as part of a meaningful group, a mean girl, now you can say, okay, this word is not working as a verb because it goes before a noun and that means it is an adjective. And then you can make um, sense out of it when you see it in a complete sentence like, my cousin is a mean girl. Let me show you another example. Same thing with look, which is often used as a verb more than as a noun. But if you see it here, as part of the phrase her look, you will understand that it is working as a noun phrase. And then you will understand when you read, I love her look, she's so stylish, right? Alright, let's see um, some elements that will help us identify structure as a key to meaning and to understand English better. First, it's really important to understand sentence elements and where we can locate every part of speech in sentence. So first we will typically find the subject followed by a verb and a complement or several, like in this example I'm giving you. Leo didn't eat pizza last night because he was sick. Number two, morphology. What's this? Well, it's the way we form new words. Okay. For example, if you see the word childish and you know child and you know that ish, is a suffix that we use to create new adjectives, you will understand that this word derives from child. Same thing with happiness. Understanding that nas is a suffix to form um, nouns. Or prefixes that go before the word to change um, some aspect of the word without changing its core meaning, like unpredictable. Right? and is the negative form of um, the word, okay? And then, something really important is to understand sentence word order. For instance, we have this sentence, um, she has a small blue wooden house. Small blue and wooden are adjectives, but depending on what they're describing, they will have a different order within a sentence. And then if you have this other example, you need to breathe deeply. Well, because of the ending ly, you can identify deeply as an adverb, but also because of the word order, because usually adverbs of manner are located after verbs to let you know how you need to do something. Now, what is the difference between form and function? Because this could be confusing. When we talk about form, we're referring to the strict grammatical uh, function of a word in isolation, okay? A noun, an adjective, an adverb, a verb. But if we talk about function, we talk about phrases working with a particular meaning independently on whether they are adjectives, verbs, or nouns. Mm -hmm. 
So we have four types that I'm going to explain later. And let's see this important aspect here. Uh, it's really important to take into account that a word can have a function completely different depending on word order or combination. Let me show you another example. We could say the puppy is sleeping outside. The word outside is an adverb. And in this sentence, it is working as an adverbial, meaning that it is answering the question, where? Where is the puppy? Outside. Mm -hmm. But look at this other example. The puppy outside is mine. Outside is still an adverb, but it is not working as an adverb itself. It is working as an adjective. Why? because it is identifying what puppy we're referring to. We want to be specific and we are describing the puppy. That's why outside has an adjectival function in this example. So just as a quick review, remember the nouns work as subjects or objects in sentences, like Melissa likes Jeremy. Subject, Melissa. Jeremy, object. Adjectives work modifying nouns, describing nouns. It's a big house, right? Adverb. Well, an adverb can modify a verb, telling you how an action is done, for example, or an adjective describing the intensity, like in this example, it's extremely cold. Not only cold, but extremely and she sings well how does she sing well okay the quality of the action and then a verb as we already know tells us what's the action that's being done like she wrote a letter the mood that's why we have uh, different um, auxiliaries like can should etc. to tell you about a suggestion, recommendation, obligation and more. Or states like I am Costa Rican. Mm -hmm. 